All right, I just got the new Vera Zyklop Pocket. I got mine from KC Tool. They had it in stock. I ordered it, they shipped it, and I noticed today it's already out of stock. It helps to be on the KC Tool mailing list and follow them on Instagram. They took the Bit Magazine from the Stubby. They took the socket end from the 3.8 Zyklop. And then they took the ball head and the mount from the quarter Zyklop. And then they kind of took the handle from the half inch ratchet and modified it. And they came up with this, the Zyklop Pocket. So this holds 12 bits, two rows of six. This is not a button. This does not eject. It's just friction. There's a detent here. And then there's another stop there and another stop there. And the, the wobble in it seems to make these bits a little easier to get in and out. So I think that's what they were going for with the, with the wobble on it. So here is the familiar Vera Zyklop rotating head. The switch is on both sides. This button does not do anything. Bit and socket retention is done with magnets. Before we look at the magnets, let's just compare the handle sizes. This is the handle size of the pocket compared to the Zyklop 3 8 So this is the handle size compared to the quarter inch Zyklop. Handle size comparison with the half inch ratchet. And I am so glad that they went with this design instead of the more bulbous design on this handle. So this is what it looks like next to the Craftform Compact. The Craftform Compact only holds six bits. This holds 12. If we put the hex bit adapter on the quarter Zyklop, this is kind of how that stacks up as a comparison. There's the ratchet goodness. Now that we've got all the basic stuff out of the way, let's look at these magnets on here. There's no lock, there's no detent. The 10 millimeter socket is 27 grams. You really can't shake that loose, so that the magnet retention on that is quite good. The 15 millimeter socket is a it's 56 grams is the size of the front bolt on the front tire on my e-bike. It, it holds it, but it you can shake it loose. Okay, so for what this tool is, I think that's plenty of retention. As far as the ratchet goes, there's a fair amount of back drag. The other ratcheting screwdriver that holds 12 bits is the hot set which is based on the roll gear. This one can't be beat for the amount of back drag friction on the ratcheting mechanism. We can see the size difference compared to this. The Vera Pocket is more space efficient uh, so the bit retention is magnetic only. If we put in a wrap adapter the strength of the magnet is just about equal with the amount of force it takes to open the wrap adapter, if that matters to anybody. So the magnets are not strong enough to allow you to easily actuate the spring collar. This ball end does not extend from the handle. This is fixed solid. There's no extension here this way of the ball head. You get a flat in the stubby, but you don't get a flat in this set. This set is 1 and 2 Phillips, 1 and 2 Posi, 10, 15, 20, 25 Torx, and then you get hex plus bits, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and that's a pretty nice assortment of 12 bits. So I'm going to remove the Posi drive bits. 
I'm going to put in one of these Vessel JIS bits. Okay, because on a bicycle there is typically JIS and bicycle is the use case that I have in mind for this. And then I have a valve stem tool. This was a double ended Weha valve stem tool for their 26 and 1. I cut off one end of it and made a regular bit out of this one. It was a two pack. So I have the other double ended as well. And since my bike has mag wheels and not spokes, I don't anticipate any clearance issues with putting the bit in here and hitting spokes with this. What I wanted to do was actually was put a Vera quarter adapter in here, but that does not fit. This, this will not close. So then, I thought, hey, I'll take one of my Japanese vessel adapters and I'll cut it and I'll use that. So that was a failure because that doesn't fit in there. Not only that, but this length is too short and it won't hit the magnet. So that was a, a big fail. What I did find in my collection was this Japanese Tone adapter. Almost fits. I have to have the ball detent either facing up or facing down so that the orientation of the hex holds the bit in such a way that it will just barely clear and go in. But I did notice a couple of times when I was trying this that it gets a little hung up sometimes when I'm opening it. So I decided not to put this adapter in there and I opted for the Japanese industrial standard cross type bit instead. 25 millimeters is pretty much the maximum that this will fit. Okay, so if you had in mind changing up the assortment like I have, that's what you have to work with. So if you have a Vera bit check, those bits fit in here just fine. So here's a PB Swiss E6, PB Swiss C6L. It's about the same as the E6. I would say there's little to no difference between those two. Okay, here's a JIS Japanese vessel brand bit with a 13 millimeter anvil. It's the same. So, so none of these bit anvil types, E6, C6, or Japanese offers any real advantage in this holder because it's just a magnet. So as a bike tool or as a tool for target sports, adjusting bows, adjusting sights, uh, scopes. The fixed sticks weighs 82 grams. And the magnet is, is enough to hold it. I would imagine that I could shake this loose. Although it's, it's good. It, it has really good retention. So this is the carrying case for the Craftform Compact. And it actually is just about the perfect size for this. And I did find these empty for sale on Amazon DE. I, I noticed the KC Tool didn't have this one in the empty form, but any links I can find to this, to this empty case, I'll give you that in case anybody's interested in that option. Uh, but they are coming out with a, a kit with a holder specially designed for this, the extension, and a couple of sockets. I really like the ergonomics on this. It's, it's a good shape. It's a good design. Um, I think it's actually an improvement over the craft form handle myself. That's just me personally. I think Vera has a real winner on their hands here. I, I think this is going to be a real popular item this holiday season. I'm glad I got mine when I did. I got mine from KC Tool. I'll give you all the links to all the places. I wanted to get this video out. I know that a lot of people are going to be very interested in this tool. 
I wanted to show how it compared with other products and I wanted to show how different things fit in it. I hope this close-up look at the Vera Zyklop Pocket was interesting and helpful. And as always, thank you for watching.